FM. In a world of tweets and text, email, and instant messaging. That's cool. That's edited way too fast. Are we communicating any better? Is it modern technology with the effects on both business and society? There's a lot of spyware out there. It sneaks into your system, follows you wherever you may go. Listen to Knowledge Talk. The show that said it all with your host, Tarek al Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Emotion. Global. Face it and talk it through on Knowledge Talk. Knowledge Talk. That's what'll get me to buy a smartphone. Or a wearable computer. Or a website that finally puts me in the driver's seat. No, no, no. Every week here on the Nation Station Radio, South of Oman, 90.4 FM. Assalamu alaikum, good afternoon, and welcome to Knowledge Talks. A weekly entertainment and knowledge sharing program aired live specifically to share with you topics that contribute knowledge to the society. Every week, Knowledge Talks hosts and invites guests that are experts, professionals, and leaders from the field that bring wealth of knowledge to you. Knowledge Talks also highlights and promotes talents in the country that contribute no- knowledge in- and success to the nation. The program, ladies and gentlemen, is a weekly session that I will have with you every Tuesday at 5 p.m. I'm your host, Tarek Al Barwani, along with the studio engineer, DJ Saleh, for an hour bringing you free knowledge at your doorstops on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Okay, stay tuned after this music break for today's very interesting knowledge topic. Welcome back to Knowledge Talks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tarek Hilal Al-Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Saleh, with you here live today on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Now, have you ever wondered what would it take to open a, a restaurant with an international standard? Would you be interested and to learn about the challenges and the process that one needs to follow in order to make this a reality? Well, ladies and gentlemen, my guest this week is Faisal Abdullah Raisi, the owner and the CEO of the Mexican restaurant Sombrero, who will be sharing with us today his journey and tips for opening up an international standard restaurant in Oman. What is Sombrero? Why Sombrero? How Sombrero is our discussion today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mr. Faisal, how are you? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm all good, all fresh. Let me first say that, mashallah, you have a very pleasing uh, 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 outlook. And what, why am I saying that? Everybody that sees you, apart from myself, of course, everybody speaks very high about you, mashallah, because you're always smiling, you're always charming. And you're always nice to people, mashallah. And that's that's very nice. Not only that, I realized when I also posted you on the social media, you have a lot of fans and a lot of people like what you're doing, mashallah. So 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 that is mashallah. I mean, hats off, uh, brother uh, Faisal, mashallah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. So you are the owner of Sombrero yes. restaurant in Oman. Yeah. Yesterday, I went with my friend, Fawal, to uh, the restaurant Sombrero. Mm-hmm. And we had delicious food, mashallah. You know what you did, Faisal? You brought Mexico in Oman. So that's what I'm trying to say. So someone, if you want to go to Mexico, you just go to Sombrero. And if you go to Sombrero, you have the feeling of it. And guess what? It's an Armani guy 
Faisal, mashallah, who is the owner. Yes. Tell us about it. Well, uh, to be clear, Tarak, Sombrero, actually, it's not pure Mexican because I changed the idea from being a typical Mexican restaurant to a fusion Mexican. A fusion? Yes. What is a fusion? It's like mixing. It's, uh, it's not typical Mexican food. Mm-hmm. What you have in Mexico, I'm delivering over here. Yeah. I, I mix and match with the food and then I come up with my own invention of the food. Wow. So you innovate those food? Yes. Yummy. I tell you yesterday, you know, what was my order, by the way? I know you're the big boss and you are not there yesterday. I would have loved for you to be there. But, but I, I'm I, sure I your know, team... I know what you ordered. What, what was my order? You took the gourmet fries and you took the ribeye steak. Yes. And you took senorita, as I remember. Correct. And um, <laughs> something else. I think sangria you took as well. I took the uh, the ribeye as well. Uh, steak. Ribeye burger, yes. The ribeye, uh, ribeye uh, steak I took it. And yes. I will tell you one thing. It was yummy. I loved it. Okay. Every piece of those, uh, the, the food over there was yummy, mashallah. Not only that, you know, I travel a lot. But I've, I've, I've been to Mexico when I was very, very young. But yesterday, I felt I was in Mexico. Uh, Especially uh, with the hat, you know? Uh, sombrero actually is the hat. Oh, the sombrero, uh, the, the name of the restaurant means the, the, the Mexican hat, right? The Mexican hat. Okay, okay. Uh, what made you go and, and, and come up with the restaurant, by the way? Um, I was... Uh, the idea came actually when I was in Barcelona. Okay. Uh, I was... Kept going on and off to the restaurant. Uh, at the beginning, I thought to make a partnership with the owner of the Mexican the Mexican Tex uh, in, in Barcelona. Okay. So I got him all the way here, and then we started, you know, with the finance and everything, but then he backed off. Okay. And then I decided, you know, what is there to make a restaurant? And I was like, I believe in myself, and I was like, let me go for it, and I'll make it myself. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And it was a struggle, but uh, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, it, it came how it came right now. At the beginning, it was it was a mess, actually. It was a mess. What was the mess? Uh, my food presentation was not good. Mm-hmm. My food quality was not good because uh, my food suppliers were not there. You know, as a, a new startup company, it was a bit difficult to find suppliers who will give you the supply of the food. So okay. sometimes I used to, at the beginning, I used to go out of the restaurant, out, out of the office mm-hmm. in order to buy the ingredients, the food, take them to the restaurant and then come back again. Okay. And I was opening the restaurant from 6 to 11 p.m. on P- Okay, 6 to p.m. to 11. Yeah. You said you, you're leaving outside the office, so you're working somewhere. I'm working as an engineer in Uridu. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. So you're working as an engineer in Uridu, and you also have your business. Yes. That's very, very interesting. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I really like what Faisal is doing. I give him very high respect because he is an employee, but at the same time, he says, I want to go out there, make something new, make a business and he does a business so it doesn't mean that if you are working you can't do business he does a business you say you do the business from 6 p.m to 10 p.m is that right yeah at the beginning okay at the beginning and now now i'm opening from 12 to 11. 12 noon to 11. yeah okay uh, now my staff but how are you doing it and you are in the office in the office now i have uh, my staff is there and i'm confident of my staff the team is having confidence mashallah mashallah you can tell me your experience yesterday how it was with the staff i tell you one thing i loved everything I love the style. I love the, 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 the food. It was yummy. I love the staff. They were friendly. They were smiling. And they were very, very good. And even better, you were young yourself. MashaAllah. How old are you, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? Or is it, um, uh, it's not private, right? It's, it's, no, we're it's in a just, live discussion. Uh, it's, uh, it's 30. MashaAllah. You're young and you've got your successful business. Well done. That's, that's, that's success. How many years have you had the business so far? Uh, running operationally now, one and a half year. But to make up the business, it took me one and a half year. Okay, so uh, is is about three years right now? Three years. Yes. Three years from making it up until running yes. uh, operationally uh, running. Mashallah. And what are the challenges you have so far? So, yeah, that's why it took me one and a half year. So that was the challenge that part. That was the challenge part. You know, okay. paperwork in the ministries. Mm. And uh, I was trying to explain to the ministry that uh, I am trying to make my own brand. Okay. Not to buy a brand and open it in Oman to be a franchise. Okay, so Sombrero is not a franchise. No. Sombrero is the baby of Faisal. It's a local franchise, Omani franchise. It's not only mine, this is for all of Oman. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And I'm sure you're planning to go global as well. Well, and it's, uh, it's a long process, but inshallah, I'll reach to this point. I tell you one thing, MashaAllah. You started working, for, you, you opened the business and you were doing it 6 to 10. Yes. You are already having it from 12 o'clock right now and you have your own employees. Yes. I tell you one thing, tomorrow you will be also international inshallah ta'ala inshallah. we wouldn't be surprised inshallah, inshallah.
No, no, that's really fantastic. That's really because you have the intent and you have the energy and you have the passion and the goal. That that itself is 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 is, is fantastic. Yes. Are you a chef? Yes. So you are a chef as well. I cook. Are you a cook as well? Yes. Okay, mashallah. Where do you learn cooking? Was it something that you from your when you were young it was a passion? Well, because I was living in India, I was doing my studies in India. Okay. So I was I learned how to cook. Okay. Ah, oh, mashallah. So we were staying with the guys in a, in an apartment. The food I was making the food for the guys. Mashallah, they were lucky. Oh, they Where were was lucky. I? <laughs> okay. So I was making all biryanis, like all Omani foods. I was making okay. biryanis. I was even making Lebanani when I was in India. Okay. Lebanese bread. Okay. In India. And then Shua on Eid, you know, because we are all alone, we are students, we we miss the food at home. So 150 guys, we used to gather up and I was cooking for the guys. MashaAllah. Do you cook till uh, till late? Yes. I mean, let's have a party, you and I. We go. We, we have to meet up sometimes so you can cook for us. That's good. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And we're also going to invite uh, DJ Saleh. Oh. Just look at me right now. He loves Mexican food too. Oh. And I'm sure being an Omani who makes cooks, that would be very good. But... Your profession right now, you're an engineer in a telecom company. Yes. And you're not a chef. Not professionally, not a chef. It's a hobby. It's, that's also nice. Mm-hmm. You do you agree that hobby makes a profession, or would you also agree that a hobby with, with someone has a hobby, he could do much better than someone who is in a profession? When you feel for your work, you, you can do better. So I, I feel hobby for the for the for cooking. Yeah. I cook and even I cook at home. So sometimes I used to challenge my mom. Okay, mashallah. So I was cooking at home and they were calling my my sisters, my brother. They were like, "We want Faisal's chicken." Mashallah, mashallah. And I was cooking at Friday at home. Okay. And from then it was starting slowly, slowly. I was like, you know, I can start to put sombrero, make the same. I struggled in order to make, in, invent the new food. You know, okay. To make my own recipes. I didn't want it to copy anybody. Okay, mashallah. So all the food that in sombrero are actually your invention. It was not. It's. I'm part of it, but uh, I have a. I, I use the help of a friend of mine, uh, Sudash and Sharma and Indarjit. They okay. Are, uh, they are chefs. Mm-hmm. So they helped me to direct me to. The Mexican food style oh, instead nice. of going into Omani food. Okay. So, oh, that's nice. So now I know the dif- I know how to how to differentiate between Omani food and Mexican food. Mashallah, mashallah. Other food as well. Like slowly, slowly, it, it gets you know you get the experience and an experience, and then you know okay, this is French, this is Greek, uh, Spanish, mm-hmm. because there is difference between Spanish and Mexico, even though they are similar. But Spanish food is different, and Mexican food is different. Okay. Uh, and then menu, what I'm doing with the menu, actually, mm-hmm. it's uh, I'm trying to put uh, every weekend, I'm trying to introduce something new because uh, I don't want to stick on the same menu for, for, for long. So every time I try to make something new to the to the menu, and that's mm-hmm. why we have uh, Sombrero Weekend Special. So every weekend we have two, three items in the menu which are only for the weekends. Wow. So we can take the review of the customer, how it is, and we can... Uh, develop it more and we can put it ne- next week again or we have another item mashallah and by this i'll have i have a list and uh, slowly slowly i'm going with the list at the beginning i didn't have burritos in, in the restaurant okay burrito is a mexican um, a mex- with the mexican rice oh, oh nice nice yummy so you grill the chicken and then you put the mexican rice and you put the cheese inside and you roll it up okay I didn't have this and people were asking, oh, this is a Mexican restaurant and you don't have burrito. So yeah. it, it took me, it pushed me now to, to start up with the burrito. Okay. And Alhamdulillah, now I have it in the menu and I have a good feedback with the burrito. MashaAllah, well done. Uh, well done. And then I started with the chimichanga. Mm-hmm. I, and I'm trying to use all the Mexican words so yeah. that uh, I, I will have, they'll be differentiating between sombrero food and other restaurants. Every restaurant is having their own food. So I'm trying to introduce my own food. I, I know there is difficulties in... Um, and pronouncing the name mm-hmm. but my staff is there is always to explain what is there in the food yes so they know all the ingredients what what is used in the food yeah uh, it took them some time to learn but alhamdulillah now i see them they're meeting the expectation of the customer so they can explain to you what is there and what is the best seller in the restaurant yeah i can tell you one thing i i i don't like to talk by theory i'll talk by experience i came to the restaurant Mm -hmm. and I loved the dishes that you have. I loved the experience that you have. Your staff were very friendly and very, very nice. And I was even more proud and and a pride to see Armani has this business here in Oman, uh, a, a restaurant that makes you feel that you're in, in Mexico as well. I even like the idea that they came to put up the hat before I left and uh, and we had to break uh, the the plate 
what, what can you explain what does it mean for people to or what what are you trying to to demonstrate when people go and break they ask us okay now break that uh, plate when you break the plate it means that you like our food oh we loved it so yeah that when you break it that's why they say gracias gracias means thank you thank you yeah much gracias much gracias yeah so the idea actually came from uh, Greece when I was in uh, when I was in Crete okay uh, I went to the restaurant and f- out of a sudden I hear all the plates are smashing and when I went there the the situation was not good for uh, Greece so I took myself out and I was thinking I'll go empty empty stomach back to the hotel and then the Greek guys they came after me and they were like hello hello and I was like Faisal today you're gone and then they took me back to the restaurant and they explained to me that when we break the plate, it means that we are happy. And I was like, okay, give me the plate. And I, I started breaking the plate break? with them. Uh, so that's when you came and you got the idea. You made a little bit change and introduced you, Norman. Yes. What I like about you is that you have a vast experience. You travel a lot, I can I, I can see from that, yes. mashallah. And then you're mixing and matching the foods. You're mixing and matching your experience. You're mixing and matching all the things that you've seen. And you come and you create something you innovate, I think that's the right word, something in Oman, with, uh, with, 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 with your own brand, which is Samborero, yes. uh, uh, and open it over. Everything scratchy, you did it by yourself. Yes. You started it. That's fantastic. You are an innovator, my friend. I'm trying to, I'm learning still. It's you are my Steve process. Jobs, my friend. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. I mean, that nothing like it. I mean, thinking differently, doing something unique. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll return our discussion with a fantastic Samborero and Faisal. In a world of tweets and text, email, and instant messaging. That's cool. That's edited way too fast. Are we communicating any better? Is it modern technology with the effects on both business and society? There's a lot of spyware out there. Sneaks into your system, follows you wherever you may go. Listen to Knowledge Talk. The show that said it all. With your host, Tarek al Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Emotion. Global. Face it and talk it through. A Knowledge Talk. Knowledge Talk. That's what'll get me to buy a smartphone. Or a wearable computer. Or a website that finally puts me in the driver's seat. No, no, no. Every week here on the Nation Station Radio, South of Oman, 90.4 FM. Welcome back to Knowledge Talks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tarq Al Barwani, along with our engineer, DJ Saleh, with you here live today on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Interesting discussion with this young, uh, successful Omani, uh, Faisal, Ar- Faisal Abdullah Al Raisi, the owner and the CEO of Samborero. Faisal. You, mashallah, uh, uh, I've, you, you've told me about your restaurant. I've visited it and I've seen, you've told me about the challenges that you've uh, uh, gone uh, through and mashallah, the success that you have uh, uh, are achieving with the difficulties that you've gone through. Tell me one thing, the finance part of it. How did you go about financing and starting it up? I started with, uh, I took a bank loan. I took a bank loan, okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, with the bank loan, it was not enough because I didn't have the experience at the beginning. Uh, I was short with cash and then mm-hmm. uh, family and friends, uh, they were a big support. They believed in me. Alhamdulillah. And then mm-hmm. they were like, yes, I'll go for it. You reached, Khalas, go for it. Yeah. And uh, that's why when I started the restaurant, actually, it was not as the way you saw it right now. Yeah. Uh, that's why there was an article about Sombrero in Muscat Daily mm-hmm. uh, showing the difference between Sombrero as a start and Sombrero today, what it, what it reached now. Mm. And uh, in regard, th- the same thing happened with the food because even the food presentation wasn't, you know, you see the food, you see it's a bit messy. Mm-hmm. And uh, I changed it after uh, the, the food presentation got changed. And now when you see the food, you, mm-hmm. you feel like, you know, it's a presentable food. It's yummy food. Yeah. And still like, I can even develop it, but I need more time slowly, slowly so I can learn uh, a better way to uh, pr- represent the food when, when, when it goes on the table. Yeah. Uh, do you believe in constant <coughs> change is important in, 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 in a product or service that you have? Yes, but to have the quality remaining the same. 
mashallah i respect that there you go ladies and gentlemen constantly changing keep on improving is very very important but ensure you have the quality always the same and that is being high quality and that's what faisal is sharing today through his experience of setting up his own business that's considered an sme yeah. obviously he, he, he came up thought about an idea while he is working went out open up at a restaurant and today he is making strides and so you you, you have taken uh for the finance uh, one of the options is you've taken from the bank to support you and also you said friends and family play a major role yes by so supporting financially and uh, and morally as well morally, morally as mashallah well. what have you looked about um, uh, what about financing from uh, uh, places like the arafed and so on uh, rafid i went i i, I participated in uh, uzuma omani and ibdaat omani okay which shows the talent of uh, omani talents mm-hmm. uh, but then they had uh, the issue was because i'm working like okay, oh, okay. and okay. then they asked me to leave my job yeah. and i was like okay fine i, I will but uh, the issue came up with they don't give the loan Uh, because a uh, personal loan they don't cover it because i took the loan to make the restaurant yes. so they don't clear the personal loan mm-hmm. and then i went to oman arab bank mm-hmm. uh, mr ghulam al bidushi he was the one the head of sme mm-hmm. and uh, eventually he was a regular customer of sambrera and wow. i didn't know that oh wow okay and then he approached me and he was asking how how is it with the finance and why you're not opening another branch and, all. and i was like it, it will take some time you know i need to First of all, stabilize myself, stay steady so not to fall. And then I can go on with it. And he believed in me and he was like, Faisal, come up to Oman Arab Bank and let's have a chat. Okay. So I had a chat with him and he was like, give me your proposal, give me your feasibility studies. Uh, let me let me go with it. And when I gave it to him, he he approved it. He was like, Faisal, I believe in you. Number doesn't matter. You are you are a, a hard worker guy. And you can do it. Mashallah. So, alhamdulillah, I got the, f- the finance now from uh, Oman Arab Bank. Okay. They, they converted my personal loan to a uh, commercial loan. Okay. So now I have to pay only a commercial loan, no, not a personal loan. Okay, alhamdulillah. And alhamdulillah. Your, your your business is doing very, very well. Alhamdulillah, yes. Alhamdulillah. And uh, looking at the, 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 the selections of location and so on, how do you go about that? I had a big struggle with the, with the location at the mm. beginning. Uh, I didn't find a location. Uh, I tried opening in Grand Mall. Okay. But it was too expensive uh, according to my capital. Yeah. Uh, you need to check you need to take into consideration the amount you will spend for making the place. And the capital I had it was not enough to make it in in Grand Mall. Okay. And then after the search I ended up in Muscat Gallery Mall. Okay. And uh, Alhamdulillah now it's the place is far and it's unknown because the mall is not open yet but uh, but you have customers are coming in already and you have people are coming in already so you already built up your name yeah that's why i say al barak al shabab it's like you know blessing with the guys they they talk they do the talk they do mouth ma- mouth marketing yeah the word of mouth the word of mouth is there and you think it's it's, it's quite important uh, you think that plays a very good role compared to the traditional media for example uh, the television uh, the print uh, uh, internet and so on you think that plays more stronger right it is. Uh, social media is, is is a big hit now and yeah. uh, i'm holding the instagram account facebook account yeah the uh, sombrero aman with sombrero with over 6000 followers mashallah yes and sometimes i'm late in replying because you know in the in office hours i'm working and after office i'm in sombrero so usually i reply late by uh, for for any post or something i reply late once i finish from sombrero yeah by 12 12:30 <laughs> then i start uh, replying to who, whatever post is there and i was not really familiar with uh, an instagram but You know that's that's why the guys they come up they're like oh face why are you not doing this we posted this in uh, an instagram you yeah. didn't do and i was like i don't know how to use repost they're like come sit with us they da- they told me to download the, the repost, repost app. app yeah how to use it and how to make it they're like you know we're making this for you you make it you post it in your uh, account yeah and then i started using the app and then they came up with face open uh, snapchat yeah so i just started with the snapchat two weeks ago i think mm. Uh, because um, I'm trying to make them live the, the experience. experience. Yes, yes. Uh, you sit, I get you with the with the with the caps and the sombreros. Yeah. And plus now, to make it more fun, I get you a mustache. Wow! Yeah, I, I saw that mustache yesterday <coughs> as well. Yeah. 
So you wear the most ads and then you click photos, you post it on Instagram. But this is uh, by itself, it's a, it's a marketing. Yes. And this is by my own followers, my own money guys, like whoever customer is coming, they get a good treatment, alhamdulillah, and they, they go out. And speak big about it. Yes. Yeah, mashallah. And uh, th- even the, for the staff, what uh, they already know, without me being there, suppose if the food you didn't like it w- you don't have to say when they come up the, when they come to clean the table they see that your food is not really finished yeah they take it and then they come back to you when you ask for the bill you see that uh, they'll ask you first if you like the food or you want us to change it <coughs> so they'll change it and they'll bring it back to you if you don't like it again it will not be in your bill seriously why you have to pay for the food when you don't like it Man, that's 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 different. That's quality. I respect that uh, fully. The way you're doing it's very very different way of other restaurants do, uh, does it. I mean, restaurant you go, you take a food if you don't like it, they say sorry, that was your uh, that's what you picked, so uh, you just end up paying. But you're saying that if they don't like it, they don't have to pay. That's fine. It's fine, even though I know it, they'll have difficulties because uh, first of all, the names are namings of the food are different, so they don't have a clue what is there. Yeah. So they take they, they take the order, but for me it's like, you know, I, I take myself being in this position. You know, mm. if I don't like the food, why why will I pay? For why should food? I pay? So they don't. I, I remove it from the bill, and they and we inform them that okay, this item is removed from the bill because you don't like. So maybe next time you come, you don't order for this one, or maybe uh, I take account uh, how many items are uh, like uh, returned. Mm. So, so you don't put them in the menu. So I see if I can develop it or the taste is different because of course you know every person is having a different taste yeah. so I cannot meet the, the the taste of every every customer yeah. I, I keep account and I see if it's really a lot of uh, people not liking the food mm-hmm. <coughs> then I try to remove the item and I, sa- I start creating a new item in the menu What I love about you is that you know you got different bosses and CEOs who just <coughs> knows about the companies, looks at what the revenue that it comes in and sure they pump up the profit up, but you are living the experience. I mean, you also work there. Yes. You also know every and each of your uh, products, which is your food, right? Yes. Mashallah. You even know what other customers are taking. You knew what I took. Of course. I mean, <laughs> that, that, that's really good, mashallah. And while you were working at that time, because it was lunchtime when I went there. So it says, I respect that uh, very, very fully. Yeah, and you're living the experience and you also have that, the customer experience uh, uh, setup done in your, in, your, in, your, in your business, mashallah. And I, I work there myself as well and um, I see the food when, when it comes from the kitchen sometimes when it's crowded because I have a, a limited number of staff which yeah. is not enough and that's why I'm there to support them it's like you know I'm making a team with them as a family yeah sometimes they get busy when it, when the restaurant is busy you see me in the kitchen helping them to deliver the food out fast well done mashallah and then when we deliver we clear the table uh, we clear the table's uh, orders yeah. and then i go back again to service area i start cleaning the table i take orders so you 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 do the cleaning yes you do the servicing you do the accounting yes you do it all mashallah yes with your great team as well mashallah of course now that, the, that now the interesting part is i'm sure people when they come in the order over there say excuse me And then when you go in and they, they order food, they don't know you are the owner. Yeah. Has that happened? Yes. It did happen. <laughs> <laughs> and how was the experience? I, I don't come up with the straight, I'm the owner. Yeah, Unless yeah. they ask me, are you the owner? And then yeah. I'll say, yes, I'm the owner. Otherwise, I'll, I'll treat them with a smile and I ask them, how was the food? Yeah. How's your experience? You like the food? Everything is all right? You need something yeah. else? You need something yeah. to add up to your order? Yeah. And then next day they come when they don't see me around, they ask, where is the Omani guy? The service guy. Masha'Allah, Masha'Allah, Masha'Allah. I really, 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 really appreciate that. It's especially saying, where, 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 where is that, that, that Omani guy? And they say, they're very impressed with what you're doing. And and I'm sure they're giving you a big tip. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that answer. Thank you. Very good one. I like that. I, I really respect and I like that. That's that's fantastic, uh, uh, Faisal, what you're doing. And uh, and and you you are giving a great motivation for others. To come out and have a business whether it's restaurant or not but the kind of way you're thinking mashallah is is is, is amazing may allah uh, yeah, reward you for doing your inshallah. inshallah ladies and gentlemen let's take a quick break before we return with our interesting session today with samborero owner <laughs> in a world of tweets and text email and instant messaging 
That's cool. That's edited way too fast. Are we communicating any better? Is it modern technology with the effects on both business and society? There's a lot of spyware out there. Sneaks into your system, follows you wherever you may go. Listen to Knowledge Talk. The show that said it all with your host, Tarek Albarwani, Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Emotion. Global. Face it and talk it through. A knowledge talk. Knowledge talk. That's what'll get me to buy a smartphone. Or a wearable computer. Or a website that finally puts me in the driver's seat. No, no, no. Every week here on the Nation Station Radio, South of Oman, 90.4 FM. Welcome back to Knowledge Talks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tarek Halal Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Saleh, with you here today, live today on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Okay, uh, my guest today is the interesting Faisal Al Raisi, the CEO and the founder of Sombrero Oman, a Mexican restaurant which has delicious food, and he is he started this business by himself from scratch. Uh, and he has shared today the tips on how to start up uh, the business. Uh, tell me one thing, Faisal. Yes. With do you need uh, any training in order to start up a business, or um, whether with the restaurant? Have you taken any training? Have you gone and taken any training? Well, I didn't take any training, but okay. I started with my masters. Okay. With my MBA. Okay. In order to understand the business. Mm-hmm. Uh, inshallah, I will be graduating by. December, hopefully, inshallah. If inshallah, I, if, inshallah. If, if inshallah. I don't have any reports to do. <laughs> inshallah, inshallah. But it, it's really good to have an MBA with a, with a business. Even though doing a business, creating the business, in the end, um, this is actually a live MBA making a business from scratch. True, true, very true. So sometimes from starting up, yeah. looking for the location, to the customers, to the experience. Because today, what you shared is very, very valuable. Very, very important information you shared. From how you set it up, when you went to go and take money, funding, you go and took a loan from the bank. And friends, you said friends and family are very important yes. to the success. To the support. Yeah. To, to, they give you the push you need. Sometimes mm-hmm. pressure is too high. Yeah. And you, you get lost because, you know, I didn't arrange myself. I was lost with... Um, Uh, with the uh, uniforms okay should I do uniforms now or should I just do uh, printing of the logo on the t-shirt and make the stuff and then I, w- I was going to the extreme and I thought okay let me do a un- unique uniform so that's why I made the uniform I even wear the uniform myself when uh, I stay in sombrero mashallah no, it's really nice I liked it they're, 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 they're very nice the uniform very nice so the logo the branding everything you did it by yourself yes Two four six zero two zero five eight, ladies and gentlemen. That's two four six zero two zero five eight. If you have any question you would like to ask to Faisal, the owner, CEO, and founder of Somborero, he is with me here today, live on Knowledge Talks. And now, tell me one thing: apart from uh, 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 the the restaurant and also working for, uh, as an engineer in a telecom company i know some exciting things that you do mashallah you have jumped and done skydiving 52 times is yeah. that right Th- that was before i opened the restaurant that's before will you do it again now or you won't do it again of course you're still up uh, up for it again to do it of course 52 times that was too many times mashallah yeah. The, f- the feeling was leaving the plane, jumping from the plane for a free fall. That was the best feeling you feel. At the beginning, you get a bit scared, but yeah. you just lose it when you step out of the plane. Yeah. It's like a free fall. And what other activities have you done? Kite surfing, skiing, scuba diving, and uh, desert crossing. I'm, I'm a crew as well in uh, Guy Duman. Mashallah, mashallah. Uh, it's like uh, twice a uh, trip to the desert uh, in a month. Where we enter from Bidia and we come out from uh, Ras al Okay. And uh, people get stuck. They need recovery to fix up their car in the middle of the desert. A mechanic is there and uh, lifting the car, fixing the tire, uh, fixing the radiator, shaft. Uh, it's like, it's a hobby. It's, an, it's a good release from the stress of the week. So I don't go much nowadays because I'm, I'm busy with the restaurant. But when the chance is there, I... 
you'll definitely once once the business picks up very very well and then the restaurant goes on well you ensure that things are going well i'm sure you're going to be doing all these kind of activities mm. Like what Richard Branson is doing now. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. Because I see, I, I know about you and I hear a lot about you, about all the activities that you do. And that, that's amazing. And we have a caller right now. Let's pick up a call. Hello? Hello? Hello, hi. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Fine, thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Mano, who's speaking? This is Jashvi here. Jashvi, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Yes, dear Jashvi. Yeah, I, I've been listening to your uh, uh, guest today on, on air, yeah. Mr. Faisal. Have I got it right? Yes, Mr. Faisal the Great. Yes, uh, he seems to be a role model whom I'm actually scouting for for my students. MashaAllah. Uh, I'm a lecturer in Oman Tourism College. Okay. And, you know, we as uh, the college, we try to promote entrepreneurship you know the uh, and we try we are also trying to promote tourism and tourism related uh, businesses in Oman okay and uh, i think he would be a great role model for all my students who who, want, who wish to work in this field uh, so can i speak to him yes definitely thank you hi hi Jifji, how are you hello faisal how are you i'm good alhamdulillah how are you uh faisal uh, uh, first of all let me congratulate you you're doing a great thing like you know you're really uh, promoting Omani hospitality. Uh, so, and the reason I called this, I wanted to personally congratulate you for what you're doing. And I really want uh, you to be a role model for my students. And the first reason I called you was I wanted to call you as a guest speaker for my students. But then I thought it would be really nice to congratulate you on, on air, right? That's an honor. Thank you so much. Yeah, I just have a very um, a very simple question. Yes. Does accounts finance has has it been a weakness for you? Have you always been worried about finance? Yes, that's why I started with my MBA. Yeah, because students, my students are generally scared of money. You know, handling money. They're worried about numbers. And who has been your inspiration when it comes to numbers? It's uh, the, the thing is, you need first of all, you need to believe in yourself that you can <coughs> you can do it. Yes. Money part is, you know, money part is up and down. Uh, sometimes Absolutely. you have, yes. sometimes you have, sometimes you don't have. But if you believe in what you're doing, then it will come up good, inshallah. That's very nice. Once again, congratulations and all the very best for your success in future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. That's very good. You are, mashallah, creating uh, waves already, mashallah, for the great thing that you are doing, uh, Faisal. And, and, and the knowledge that you have, the experience that you have, the challenges that you've gone through is definitely a case that many Omanis and, and, and many all of also the expatriates can learn to see how they can create their own businesses as well. Now, yesterday you told me some Borero was just starting up and you had a number of challenges today mashallah yummy delicious is very very good where are you going tomorrow well um, i'm i'm planning to go as an international franchise franchise now mashallah which okay. uh, sombrero will be coming out from oman as the the mother play the, the 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 mother company is coming up from oman i know it's a big dream but inshallah i can make it I love that. That's what I love. It's a dream, but I can make it. It's not like it's a dream. I'll continue sleeping. No, 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 no. You need to work hard. You need to work hard. If you, if you, if you wake up in the morning and you, you, you still have nothing to do, just go back and sleep. What is the use then? Continue sleeping. <laughs> uh, exactly, exactly. I, I, I respect that very, very, well, very, very much. How do you get motivated personally? By the way, uh, <clears throat> what gets you motivated? Me getting it motivation. Activities, maybe activities. all those activities that you're doing. <laughs> uh, activities make me make me get back to life and uh, try. Um, I arrange my thoughts again, so I know where to start up from. Okay. And I can give some tips with uh, how to arrange myself. I use the applications, so I keep a track of what am I supposed to do, what what, what all things I need to finish. Okay. And uh, of course, thanks to. Oridu, our management, uh, my my bosses, they had a big hand into this, uh, teaching me how to meet my targets and uh, uh, setting up my deadlines and how to follow up. So if I arrange my thoughts, I, I spend 15 minutes in the night before sleeping. I arrange my thoughts. Okay, tomorrow I have to do one, two, three, four. Ministry, 
bank or supplier meeting. And lately I'm asking the suppliers to come to meet me in Grand Mall. Okay. So I can take my lunch break, uh, f- finishing up with my meetings. Wow, I like that. Because you know my office hour cannot uh, come conflict with my with business. my business. True, true. And uh, they, they come up with in Gramul and I it's a fast. Alhamdulillah, it's I know I know where am I going and when I come for the business when I come for the meeting, we talk to the straight away to the point. Alhamdulillah, if we agree or not. Otherwise, they come up back to the restaurant afterwards. I, I ask them to come to the restaurant afterwards by seven, so I'll be in the restaurant and I can finish up with the meeting with them. Mashallah. What is your social media accounts so people can know about it and can go to it and they can also interact with you? Uh, I have uh, the most uh, live uh, a live account is uh, Instagram and uh, thanks to the guys uh, Wahid and Mahmoud uh, Wahid Belushi, Mahmoud Al Raisi and Saleh. They created a group called Tamasha. Okay. And uh, Tamasha. Tamasha group. What does Tamasha mean? Uh, it's like the guys they give inspiration to 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 the youth that they can do things okay oh nice very good so when they came to the restaurant they they they, they liked the restaurant and they got shocked when they knew that i'm 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 the owner mashallah mashallah and uh, did you know them before you didn't know them. i didn't know them before. Ah, so they came in they saw and they saw oh wow this yeah. armani is doing it and yes yeah, and then uh, they they offered me they 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 said faisal you really we believe in you we don't support you we believe in you you can do great because uh, support they, they can give me support okay they come one time to the restaurant two times three times and then I lost but they said they they, they believe in me hmm. so uh, when you believe in when you believe they came up with the uh, uh, because they have in, in their Instagram account alhamdulillah they have like uh, 100 followers 100 100k followers yep. 115 so they started promoting for the restaurant yep. they, they were making uh, funny videos uh, giving exam- uh, school return back to school videos and all that. So wow. it, it was creating a fuss in, in Instagram. Yeah. And then they were referring it back to Sombrero. Like, okay, we did this in Sombrero. Yeah. Uh, the people started knowing more about Sombrero because I'm not really active much with uh, in Instagram. Yeah. So I get the tips from them and then I start uh, start applying it in my own account to to make people know that, okay, there is an uh, Omani brand called Sombrero. Yeah. And... Uh, I would like them to come and try the food and you know I can they can give me judgments okay this food is nice this is not good or okay face so why don't you try making this in future uh, fajitas or uh, uh, any new items whatever they, they need so I can work it on and I can add up in my menu uh, that's exciting 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 that, that's that's really really good that keeps you motivated and you keep on coming with with new thing and you believe friends plays a very very important role yes the, the believe in friends they believe in new the, it, it gives you the push to continue the, the the road even though it's uh it's difficult you know to manage work and mba at the same time with uh, running the restaurant and plus uh, finishing ministry ministry work Paperwork. How, how is it, is it challenging getting yeah. ministries work and everything oh, it's not it's very it's, challenging it is very challenging. Very challenging. Okay, why do you say that? Because uh, sometimes when you go to the to the ministry asking for a paper, they return you. Uh, they return you, and then I ask him, okay, what all paper do you require? They tell me the paper required, and the next day I come, the guy tells me, okay, this paper is is missing. Come back to come back later. Oh I don't God. have time. I, I need mm. to go back to office. And then I tell him, okay, yesterday you wrote this yourself. One, two, three, four papers. I got it for you. So w- why why you're uh, complicating it? No, this is the system. This is this. I was like you wrote this yourself, so I got mm-hmm. you all the papers. Yeah. And then in the end, I have to go back. So I, I need to go back to the office. And then next day again, waking up early, six thirty, instead of being stuck in traffic, I go there. Eight forty-five. I'm in front of the gate. Okay, you I think that's it. the best thing to do. It yeah. Otherwise, first of all, I'll get I'll, I'll be late to, to office if I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to do that uh, mm-hmm. in the morning. So I, I wake up early. I try to go finish. I have this one hour before my office really starts at nine o'clock. Mm-hmm. I can go there at eight, but we are we have flexible timing in office, so mm-hmm. I can reach by nine. So I try my best to finish it before nine o'clock, reaching office before nine, finishing all paperwork with ministries. Okay, oh, that's very good. Now, anything you wish to share before our end of our program today? Um, uh, first of all, thank you so much, Tarek, for uh, hosting me today. It was uh, really a pleasure being here with you. And I'd like to extend my uh, thank thank you to 
the the people, friends, family who believed in me. And I hope I'm not disappointing anybody. And with your belief, inshallah, I'll go, I'll go further. I'll go to the extra mile. I'll do the extra mile. Inshallah, Taala, Faisal, you will definitely do great. I have, I like the the the. The, the, the intentions that you have and I also like the willpower that you have I can do this and you can do it right inshallah always. inshallah ta'ala Faisal thank you very very much for joining us today on Oman Radio FM 90.4 to share about your journey and your success with Sombrero I would like to take this opportunity to wish you the very best and success in all that you do my friend thank you Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our program for this week. I hope you all had a triggering time with us. Let us catch up again next week on Tuesday, same time at 5 p.m. for a knowledge session. I'm your host, Tariq Halal Al-Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Saleh, wishing you all a happy and a pleasant week. Ma'a salama. In a world of tweets and text, email, and instant messaging, That's cool. That's edited way too fast. Are we communicating any better? Is it modern technology with the effects on both business and society? There's a lot of spyware out there. It sneaks into your system, follows you wherever you may go. Listen to Knowledge Talk. The show that said it all. With your host, Tariq al Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Emotion. Global. Face it and talk it through. A knowledge talk. Knowledge talk. That's what'll get me to buy a smartphone. Or a wearable computer. Or a website that finally puts me in the driver's seat. No, no, no. Every week here on the Nation Station Radio, Salta de Oman, 90.4 FM. Oh,